next, it's a welterweight championship fight between Tony Ferguson and George Rush St. Pierre. Ready? You ready to fight? Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the country. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there. And might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off yeah. the center. He was landing one before. Now he's throwing everything in combination. And they're all in. Huge elbow there. Well, he's up. But oh, is he hurt. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he catches the left. Well, that is exactly how you turn defense into offense. Catches the kick and dumps him on the mat. What a great job timing that kick, driving into his opponent and putting him on his back. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Yep, absolutely. Close guard. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, stacking him up here, keeping the pressure on. I know you guys do a lot of this training with your jiu-jitsu coach there in San Jose. Oh, absolutely, but it's a difference. If your feet are on our hips, it's a problem. So we shove them through the middle. We shove them through the middle so that our legs can be what controls your feet. Right. We're not using our hands. I'm not using my hands. I'm using my legs to just kind of wheel and deal you from side to side. Then my upper body is free to punt. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he wins. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the court? St. Pierre gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Big punch lands over the top. I was gonna follow this one. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo clash. Oh, like huge elbow! Section, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, nice offering there by Tony Ferguson. We'll see if he can follow it up here, champ. I mean, he usually does. He does not let guys off the Tony Ferguson is a guy that has a killer's mindset, and when he gets you hurt, he's looking to finish. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he's throwing bombs. El Cuckoo, he gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Sharp body shot is there for Ferguson. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time his opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. And I gotta think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's gonna think, well, the opponent seemed to think he had shored up the takedown defense. It did not. 
Hold up there. It may feel good in practice, <laughs> but you don't know until the guys in front of you hit the takedown attempt after takedown attempt. Close guard. Staying busy from bottom position here. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Oh, elbow up top by St. Pierre. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Elbow landed there by GSP. Hammer fist here by Ferguson. Well, it's hard to win a fight working off of your back, but that elbow is useful. Elbow landed there by George St. Pierre. Watch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy... Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's a tech armbar now. Let's go. Break it. Break it. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Wow. This is not as dangerous as it used to be in fighting. You know, before, guys would try to sit in that full guard. Right now, it's just more dangerous for you. One time, because guys have so many submissions that they can attempt from this position. Too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. St. Pierre's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press it. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Unable to connect it. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Again, they will clinch. Oh, that's a good strike there by Ferguson. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Whoa! No! Huge right hand! in a great performance by this young man. Well, this is the man they are all chasing at 170 pounds. The UFC. Now we go inside the octagon. 